So in order to use Google Apps on my device, I need to go ahead and log in to my Google account. Now there are multiple Google Apps, uh, and again, you can install new apps from the manager or Mosul School app if you need to. But if I were to open up an app like the Google Drive app, for example, I'd see a button at the bottom that tells me to sign in. When I tap sign in, it's gonna ask me to enter in my email address. Now your email address is made up of two parts. The first part is on the sticker on the back of your device. It's typically your last name, followed by your first initial, and possibly a number like 0102, etc. cetera. Uh, if you have a long last name, it's probably just the first seven letters of your last name. Now the second part is followed by the at sign, and that is student dot psdr3 dot org. Every student's email address in the district uh, ends with at student dot psdr3 dot org. Now, even though we are using Google, uh, we do not we do not have Gmail addresses. So make sure that when you're signing in, you're using this email address and not an at gmail dot com address. Otherwise, it will not work. And then I go ahead and hit next, and it's going to ask for my password. Now my password is my first initial, followed by my student number, which can be found on my schedule, followed by my last initial. All lowercase, no spaces, and then hit next. Now once it logs in, it should take me into this app. So now that I've logged into the Google Drive account, I'm gonna go ahead and try logging into Gmail. If I open up Gmail, it's also gonna have a sign in button at the bottom. It's going to ask me what to sign in with. I can tell it to sign into Google. And there's a good chance that since it's already logged into my account with one Google app, it'll ask me if I want to use that account for other Google apps as well. So I would simply tap on it. I may have to re-enter my password and it'll take me in. Now, some apps when they open are going to ask you about notifications, asking if you want to allow notifications on those apps. Um, I would recommend that you say yes on any school related app. So things like Canvas, things like Gmail, things like Google Drive, I would turn notifications on those apps on to make sure that you don't miss any important information or any important emails that are being sent to you. Um, if you accidentally turn them off, you can go into your settings app and scroll down to notifications and you'll see all the list of all the apps that exist uh, that are installed that have notification options. And so from here, you can choose to turn them off or on depending on uh, the app.